Hello everyone, I'm Dan Henry and I'm a customer success technical architect here at MuleSoft. In this Friends of Max video series, I'm going to be talking to you about AnyPoint API Community Manager, which provides a next-gen developer experience to help you build and grow API ecosystems. Today, we're going to guide you through the process for upgrading to our December release from previous versions. This will allow you to take advantage of our new and improved user experience for API versioning. Let's get started. Let's have a look at what's included in the December release. First of all, we have a number of bug fixes and improvements to existing functionality. Full details of these can be found in the release notes. We've also introduced a new API publishing and navigation model, which is more aligned to any point exchange. Now, consumers see APIs as a unit and can navigate to specific versions within the API details page. Finally, we've introduced a guided setup and diagnostics to simplify the initial installation and allow you to diagnose and resolve config issues automatically. To benefit from these bug fixes, improvements and new features, you'll need to upgrade to package version 1.77. Reach out to your customer success representative who can provide you with the package link. We recommend following three steps when upgrading to this package. First, you should do an initial assessment on a new dedicated sandbox so that you become familiar with the upgrade process in a safe environment. Next, when you understand the upgrade process, you should upgrade your usual sandbox environment, which should be a partial or full copy of your production environment. At this stage, you can identify how the upgrade impacts the way you have built your community. Finally, now that you have validated the steps from one and two, you can go ahead and upgrade your production environment. It's worth highlighting that upgrading from a package version before 1.77 requires mandatory configuration updates. When the new package is installed, user access to assets in the community is disabled. When the post install configuration is complete, user access to assets in the community will then be re-enabled. We strongly recommend you complete smoke tests at each stage to ensure that all use cases are behaving as expected after upgrading. Check out the links below this video for a guide to the package upgrade, as well as smoke test guidance. In today's demonstration, we're going to cover step three, upgrade your production environment, which you can use to follow along during the package upgrade process of all three stages. Before we go ahead and install the package link, we want to make sure that we go through to the MuleSoft documentation and specifically the API Community Manager update page. Now on this page we can find a number of details about the recommended process for updating API Community Manager, specifically looking at sandboxes and all of the other relevant information you'll need when going ahead and updating API Community Manager. You should also pay careful attention to these areas of the documentation as well. What we're showing here is the post and pre-install steps for different versions before upgrading to the latest version. Now I'm on 1.74, so I'm going to follow the install steps from there. I'll also do the pre-install steps above. If you're going from a previous version beyond 1.74, make sure you also follow the pre and post install steps as well before going to 1.77, do the pre-install steps, and then do the post-install steps listed here as well after upgrading to 1.77. So once we've done the package upgrade via the link, we're going to follow these post install steps in this demonstration. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the package link that would have been provided by my customer success representative. You'll see here that on this URL, I have your domain. Now I need to replace that with everything before .lightning.force.com, so CSA, out of the box, ACM, dev, ed. We're going to copy that, and we're gonna replace your domain. And I'll hit enter. Now this is gonna bring me through to this page, and I wanna make sure that I select install for admins only, and select upgrade. I'll have to grant third-party websites and click continue. And then it's gonna start upgrading my Salesforce instance with the new API Community Manager package. This can take some time. 
so it's worth leaving it. You will see a message in a moment saying this is going to take a bit of time. And you can come back later on once the upgrade is complete. Now I've just grabbed a coffee and I'm back and my version has upgraded to 1.77. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to configure sharing settings for guests. So we need to head up to the quick find box and type in security. We can lay down to sharing settings. Let's just make this quicker. There we go. Now we're going to scroll down to community asset versions sharing rules. Again, I can speed this up by using find. There we go. And I want to click new. Now in the rule name, I need to have my community name followed by sharing rule. To get this, I can just go back to here and I can say CSSA out of the box demo. And add sharing rule to the end. And I want to change the rule type to guest user access based on criteria. For the first field, I'm going to select community name equals my community name. I then want to select visibility and that equals public. I'm just going to bring up this window, double check that. But actually, I don't want to have that double. I'll leave that just as one. And then for selecting users to share with, choose the guest user profile that relates to the community you selected in the criteria. And the access level is read only. And I can click Save. Next, I want to update my guest user profile permissions. So to do that, I can go to the ACM administration window go to Community Builder. Oh, let's try that again. Right, I need to close that. Community Builder. And I click on Settings. And then select the profile here. Now, if your page looks like this for the profile, you're using the Enhanced Profile User Interface view. To make sure we can follow the post install steps correctly, we're going to disable this view so that we can use the original profile user interface view. To do that, we're going to go to user management. If you scroll down, you can see here I can disable the enhanced profile user interface. I can then close this, go to experience builder again and bring up that profile again. Now in here, the first thing I'm going to do is update four objects, the community asset versions, the anypoint asset categories, anypoint assets, and anypoint asset versions. As we can see here, this is the field level security section and so we're going to click on the first one community asset version and click view now i click edit here and i select read access for each of these tick boxes that isn't already enabled and click save i click back to profile i then go to any point asset categories And again, in the field level security, click view here, same task, edit, tick all the boxes in read and click save. Back to profile again. And then any point assets this time, edit, tick the boxes, save and back to profile. One more time. 
this time for the AnyPoint Asset versions. Edit and tick all the boxes. Save. Now we go back to the profile. And we're going to click Edit. So now we can update the object permissions. So we're going to tick the categories, assets, and versions. We're also going to update community asset versions. Any point ABI instances is correct here. But we're going to update any point users to have read access. And click save. And then finally, the AnyPoint API instances, we click view. This is the field level security permissions. Edit this, and we're going to enable version and version group, and click save. Now we're going to go through and configure sharing settings for members. So we want to go to communities and select community settings. Scroll down and we're going to edit this sharing set. We're going to add the community asset version to select objects. We're going to need to scroll down again and click setup next to community asset version. The user is going to be account. Target field is this top one and the access level is read only and we click update. We then check if things are right, so you can see that there, and click save. Then as before with the guest user profile permissions, we're going to do the same for the member profile permissions. So we'll click on profiles after searching users in the quick find box. You'll see here I've called mine ACM member user. Now you probably would have called it the community name member user. It's no different, the same experience that you'll have as well. So we're going to click on this. And we're going to update the four objects again, the community asset versions, the AnyPoint asset categories, AnyPoint assets, and AnyPoint asset versions. So let's update those object permissions first. And then click save. And now we need to update the field level security. Same process again of clicking edit and then ticking all of the read access boxes and hitting save. So back to profile again. Any point asset categories and custom field level security. Edit, ticking read access. Back to profile. Any point assets this time. Edit, ticking all the read boxes. And that any point asset versions as well. Edit and ticking read access. We're then going to go to any point API instances. Make sure we go to those field level security. There we go, click view. And again, we're 
having read access of version and version group. Hit save. Go back to profile. One more edit on the actual profile. Scrolling down and making sure that read is ticked for all of these external object permissions. So you can see they're all ticked. And then hit save. So there we go, that's each of the steps in that post install list of steps. At this point, you would want to go back into your community and run all the smoke tests to ensure that your community is performing as expected after the install. Thanks again for watching this Friends of Max demonstration. Feel free to leave a comment, check out the links below the video, or have a watch of our other Friends of Max videos too. I look forward to seeing you again soon.